Good day, it's Tony Fortune out from the technology firm. Today we're going to take a look at Passmark's app timer and uh, it's a really interesting little tool that you can use that will automatically uh, record your application load times. It's a great way to consistently measure response time without having the user getting in the way. So in this example I've created a document and the document has a, an image in there and you can see there's a little bit more text and you can see there's a little picture here at the bottom as well. So the document is called 27 MB doc because it's a 27 meg document. So it's important to pay attention to the bar up at the top and you can see in this case WordPad puts the name of the document and WordPad up there and you'll find out in just one moment why that's important. So I'm going to close this off and in the folder itself you can see that I've got 27 MB doc dot RTF and this is a map drive. This is uh, mapped to my um, server. So there we go. So the file's sitting here and I can see it's 27 meg and our application is going to be measured in the amount of time it takes to open this document. So let me just minimize this. And in the app timer folder you can see there's just app timer.exe and the good old readme file. So we uh, launch the app which I have here in the background and there's the application. So I'm going to uh, use the WordPad executable and the full path. It's a good thing to use the full path. Sometimes your system uh, won't find things unless you have the full path. The command line is going to be z colon or z colon and 27mb doc.rtf. There's my document. I'm going to use a log file. Obviously, I'd like to measure the response time. And this is where that title is important. So I've got my window name, WordPad. I'm going to execute the application once with a two second or two thousand millisecond delay. Down here is where you've really got to pay attention, the window detection method. Input idle means I'm going to load the document within WordPad and I'll stop measuring my response time or load time and when the application is done loading. If I uncheck the input idle box then it would only measure the amount of time it takes WordPad to load, not the document. In this case, I want to load the actual document as well and measure that time. At the end of all this, window close method, Alt F4, pretty uh, consistent way of closing it. And sometimes you can get away with using uh, WM close as well, but we're just going to stick with the easy stuff. So off I go, I can hit run app, and it says right here the iteration is one. I've only wanted it one, one of one. We can see here in the bottom the uh, document is loading because obviously it's going to take a couple of seconds to do that. And as we wait, 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 here we go, 90%, 97, 99, 100, and there we are. So now the document's loaded, and then it automatically closed it. I didn't do that. And now it says finished execution. So we're done with that. If I go to my app timer folder, I will see the 27 MB log file. And right here, I can see that it took 15.99 seconds to load that. If I was to uncheck the input idle and run that again, Again, iteration number one. I've only got one iteration of this. You can have obviously run this many times. Again, you'll see that it takes, uh, I'm going to say about the same time as it took the first time to load the file. We're at 80% now. We're at 90% now. And we'll be done momentarily. And there we are. And you saw it just kind of flash away and finished execution. So now if I looked at my log file, I'll see two times. The first time was the actual document load time. The second time was just the word pad load time. So this is a pretty neat way of measuring response time or load time of an application across a network. Uh, just takes a little finagling but it's pretty straightforward so hope that helped and have a good day.